I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars Virgo. Now most of the activity this week is happening in your solar 11th house. So we have the sun there which is our most powerful force. Um, Jupiter is going to transit into this area on the 26th of the month and this is a 12 month stay. Okay now Jupiter is known as the planet of abundance and expansion and it's known as the lucky planet. I always think of it as the lucky planet. It's a time when you can sort of be in the right place at the right time to connect with the people that are going to help you just move your life along to the next level. Now in the 11th house is all about um, what you can give back. So the 5th house is for what you receive, the 11th house is what you can give back. So it's working with people for a mutual cause and it's very much about friends and it's very social area. So Venus is also in this area for most of the week. It's going to move out on the, on the 28th. Um, so when Venus is in this area as well, it's a good time that you can meet someone and just get out there and start socializing. You can also combine business and pleasure as well. Now the other transit that's happening in this area of your chart this week, on the same date, the 26th, same date as Jupiter moves in, is Mercury, which is your ruling planet. So anything that happens with Mercury in the astral chart is going to affect you, um, you know, quite strongly, more so than some of the other signs. It's going retrograde, okay, so Mercury goes retrograde three or four times a year for um, about three weeks. I will talk more about this in the overview message, but when Mercury is retrograde, it's it's a time when mix-ups can happen. It's a good time for planning. It's a good time to get things into organize. It's not a good time to um, get into any sensitive topics of discussion, and you want to just be careful with travel and arrangements, okay? Make sure you double check anything. In other words, don't make any assumptions, okay? Double check the details, which of course, Virgo, you would. Okay, so Venus is also uh, transiting this week into the next sign and that's into your solar 12th house. So this, when it comes to love and more personal matters and relationship, this is a good time then you can think about um, what type of relationship you want to attract if you're single. If you're in a relationship, then is, are you happy with it? Do you want to make some changes? Um, don't let's not forget that Mercury is retrograde right through until let's have a look. Um, the 20th of July. So it's a time, good time for thinking things through and for planning, okay? Have a great week. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.